Uh, I want to thank uh, Sergey Lavrov for uh, meeting quickly as we have here before we both go to meet with Laurent Fabius, the Foreign Minister of France, momentarily. And we're grateful for uh, Foreign Minister Fabius's hospitality here. We've been waiting for him to uh, arrive back from Brussels, where he was at an EU meeting, so we took advantage and have uh, uh, been discussing uh, the question of Syria. Let me just say, I think Sergei would agree with me that both of us, uh, Russia, the United States, are deeply committed and remain committed to trying to implement the Geneva One principles, which require a transitional government by mutual consent that has full executive authority in order to allow the people of Syria to decide the future of Syria. We are committed to this. We both want to make this conference happen, if possible, together with many other countries that have joined up. And today we talked through uh, a number of issues, sort of uh, when the conference might take place, uh, and obviously that depends on the participants and the decisions that need to be made together with our friends and allies uh, uh, and the United Nations. Uh, we talked about uh, the participants, uh, and that is an ongoing conversation. And it will continue uh, tonight with Foreign Minister Fabius. Uh, we also talked about the humanitarian situation. Uh, and both of us uh, expressed our mutual concerns about any potential use of chemical weapons and the need to really get the evidence and ascertain uh, what has happened in that regard. Uh, both Russia and the United States uh, if it were being used, to object to that uh, very, very strongly. Um, but it is our hope that we will come out of here with greater clarity about some of the issues that need to be worked on in the days ahead. We agreed that uh, uh, representatives of both of our governments, from the foreign ministry in Russia and the State Department in the United States, will meet as soon as possible in order to work through a number of these issues regarding uh, how this conference could best be, uh, best be prepared for the possibility of success, not failure. And that's our goal, and that's what brought us here to Paris. Uh, thank you. I would like to express my gratitude to John Kerry uh, for uh, suggesting that we meet uh, on this occasion, uh, because the situation is not getting better on the ground, and we all want uh, to do everything uh, in our uh, uh, efforts to stop the bloodshed and to reduce the sufferings uh, of the Syrian people. And therefore, we uh, took stock today of where we are with the implementation of the Russian-American initiative, which was launched when John visited Moscow on the 7th of May. Uh, and as John said, uh, we concentrated on the uh, need to determine the uh, participants of the conference, first of all from the Syrian sites, the government and the opposition groups, as we said in Moscow, uh, and uh, secondly, uh, the participants from outside circle. Uh, the Geneva One participants, I think, uh, have been accepted as the um, in invitees, uh, and we believe that this circle could be expanded to involve all key outside players who have influence on the situation on the ground. And uh, we discussed how we can proceed uh, with the kind of division of labor which we agreed in Moscow uh, to persuade various Syrian parties and the uh, foreign uh, countries uh, to cooperate with us uh, in the efforts to make this conference uh, convene. Uh, it's not an easy task. It's a very tall order. Uh, but I hope that when uh, the United States and the Russian Federation uh, take this kind of initiative, uh, the chances for success are there. And we will do everything in our uh, power uh, to use those chances and to make them, to make them realize. Mr. Lafros, I have to say, we, we, we have got to meet Laura Fabius. We're late to meet, and we must go. Thank you. Thank you, Archer. Thank you, everybody. Thanks.